Okay, a little backstory on this car. We bought it uh, about four years ago, and uh, it was in very good condition. Uh, the fender was a little messed up, and the rear quarter panel uh, has a little little ding on it. But uh, other than that, it was structurally sound until somebody uh, named Deer uh, got in the way. But uh, work in progress. Now, the problem with the car is that it uh, it has power. It turns on the ignition, but it doesn't crank. So looking online, I'm thinking to start looking at the I'm looking for the clutch sensor, the clutch sensor switch, and the, that's, that's where I'm going to start, clutch sensor switch, I'm going to take it off, bypass that, hopefully that fixes it, okay, and then if there's another issue, then we are going to start looking at the EMS, which is the, the security, security system for it. Uh, starting with the key antenna uh, and we'll see we'll see how it goes okay so e46 325 uh, ci we changed the clutch uh, switch and that fixed the no the no starting issue but I started getting that issue again so let's try this one more time. Nothing. Okay, so wiggling the cable of the, the antenna transponder ring is what it's called on the steering column so wiggling uh so yeah further this way these cables ah, that way it's not helping me there we go wiggling these two cables up and around the steering column up to here in there I got it to turn over but um battery's dead so let's jump it See if we can get this joker to turn over. We shall see. Ooh. Clutch, but it makes no sense because it's bypassed. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Let it charge for a little bit. Battery has to be super good. 
Let's try doing the, how do you call it? The uh, dashboard diagnostic. Let's try doing the little dashboard diagnostic thing. Hold to the auxiliaries test. Go to number 19. 19. Wait. And now, one, two, ah. What are you doing? Hold to the test test. Damn it! Go to number 19. Si, está un poquito muerta. And now, go to number 9. And now it should give me the voltage. 13.5. Right there. So it's reading the voltage of the other one. All right. So as you can see, this joker is running. Turn off the AC to minimize noise. And, um, yep. So let me show you what I did. So here is the the cable that I'm talking about. This is the the transponder ring for the uh, for the key. So it's my understanding the key has the sensor and the key is coded to the car. This ring is the antenna that senses this signal, right? And by those wires, it tells the uh, security system that this in is in fact the key for this car. Um, so if, if it's not reading the key, it's not gonna give me a start signal uh, if I turn the ignition. So I'm jiggling these two cables. I'm gonna go ahead and trace these two cables, see where they go and see where, where they may be disconnected. It, it could be here, but it could also be up. <clears throat> up with the cable so we'll trace them and see what happens. we don't have it figured out but it's running but it doesn't have the transducer antenna receiver thing for the key signal that thing is not in the ignition switch right now Come on. It's not there and the cable is dangling. And now. Hey, I got the key here. I got the key. You want it? <laughs> I got a key. So we don't know. Right now I have the uh, clutch switch uh, bypassed. I'm gonna reconnect that and retry and I'll show you. Okay, so the clutch switch is no longer bypassed. Clutch pedal, clutch switch. Let's try this in real time. Let's see what happens here. Okay, again, no switch. I mean, no receiver, cables dangling. Let's see. Nothing. Nada. Pero escucha a ver si... La bomba está pegando. Sí. Nothing. All right, so we are back at it running um, but the ring that we're using so that ring is not from this car it came from that parts car we got there so so far so good 
blood sugar is not 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 bypassed and that ring is not from this car so I haven't done much research but I think we're fixing the problem right now we shall see what time tells so here we are driving it it's running good it has the uh, little receiver cylinder thing from uh, that other parts car and uh, this is the one from this car so hopefully this will fix the problem and uh, I'll post a video if anything else uh, happens so for now I'm gonna consider it uh, fixed hopefully tomorrow morning when I start it uh, doesn't give me any any more issues so we'll see you